The public silo trail is 1,000 kilometres long, starting right here in Northern. It really is one of the most exciting art trails, and you can see it all by car. It's going to take you through the heartland of WA's Wheat Belt. We'll get to see stunning displays of public art and experience a road trip, which is going to be one to remember. This one here in Northam is close enough to do in an afternoon. It's about an hour and a half drive from Perth. This was the first silo painted in Australia and it set off a chain reaction of silo painting all over the country. 750 litres of paint was used to create these beautiful artworks on both sides. Standing at almost 40 metres, it's pretty impressive what international artists can do. This is one of the busiest operating grain handling sites in the state. It's really important that you don't go onto the work sites. Anyway, the best view is definitely from back here. And while I'm here, I'm going to take a trip into town and check out the state-of-the-art Aboriginal Centre. I've heard it's incredible. This is the first of its kind. Um, so the Baladong Noongar people who are the traditional owners out this way are very proud of that. Inside, there's artefacts, displays and some hands-on technology. They allow you to interact, you know, so obviously you key it in and it talks to you in Noongar or tells you a Dreamtime story, you know, that kind of thing. That was fascinating. But now the road trip continues. Next stop is the Wheat Belt town of Cunderdon. The Cunderdon Museum is a must-see. Rummaging through olden day machinery, it's a real adventure, especially for the kids. Well, they certainly don't build them as tough as they used to. The last town for today is Meriden, where the adventure continues. So Pioneer Park's between our two museums, our Railway and Military Museum. It's got the Railway Water Tower there as well. So i um, also got some picnic tables. There's a barbecue there as well. It's also home to the next silo on the public silo trail. Our silos were painted back in August 2017 by Kyle Hughes Odgers. Set amongst wheat crops, it's absolutely amazing to see. WA-born urban artist Kyle took 168 hours to complete this beautiful silo here in Meriden. A real accomplishment for someone who was scared of heights. 